Hello and welcome. This is Oles Gerdyuk with UATV broadcasting from Toronto, Canada. The Ukraine Reform Conference is taking place here, so our team, in cooperation with Agri Team Canada, is launching a special series of interviews about the effectiveness of current reforms in Ukraine. And today we are discussing women's economic empowerment. And joining us in the studio is Mariana Kahanyak, co-founder of She Experts program and advisor to the Minister of Economic Development and Trade. Hello, and thank you for joining us, Ms. Kahanyak. Hello, and thank you for having me. So, we're going to have the dis discussion, but let's start with a short about the project, okay? Sure, let's do that. З 2017 року наша програма «Ще експерт» підтримує українських жінок в бізнесі, як власниць бізнесу, так і керівниць бізнес-структур. Ми приділяємо велику увагу розвитку інноваційного підприємництва на основі цілей сталого розвитку ООН. Ми пишаємося тим, що нам вдалося об'єднати понад тисячу жінок в 16 регіонах України, які взяли участь в наших проєктах. Програму «Ще експерт» визнали і нагородили X-Ray Awards за першу системну і масштабну підтримку жінок в бізнесі. Кожна компанія для того, щоб бути успішною, повинна завжди рухатися вперед і змінюватися. Тому, коли декілька років тому Україна отримала шанс і відкрила зону вільної торгівлі з Європою, ми не змогли стояти осторонь і з великим задоволенням приєдналися до програми «Ще експорт». За цей час ми поширили свій експорт, ми придбали нове обладнання, ми створили нові робочі місця. І навіть розробили нові продукти в колаборації з однією з учасниць нашої ж ці програми «Ще експорт». Це ароматизатори для нашої нової лінії «Ріто Хоум». Тому ми створюємо нові альянси, щоб змінюватись і розширювати наш експорт. Допомогла мені персонально надбати досвід підприємцям. Це було дуже цікаво, дуже яскравий досвід, коли ти не лише один в світі підприємництва і тільки починаєш перші кроки, а коли навколо тебе твої колеги, які вміють це робити, знають, як це робити, а головне, вони теж в жіночому бізнесі, і вони знають, з якими проблемами стикаються. Мені дуже сподобалась програма «Ще експорт», тому що це про партнерство, це про підтримку, це про конкуренцію, але конкуренцію з партнерством, коопетишн, коли галузь розвивається, напрямок розвивається, країна розвивається, коли разом колаборуються, взаємодіють і партнеряться. За останніх вісім місяців я активно спілкуюся з учасницями платформи «Ще експорт», з представницями різних галузей України. Цей обмін досвіду дав нам можливість сфокусуватися в бізнесі і скоротити з шести таргет-груп клієнтів до двох. Ми створили таке позиціонування на ринку, завдяки якому нещодавно перемогли в міжнародному тендері по комплектації меблями від нашої компанії в Україні від міжнародної сітки готелі Redison Blue. Лише один такий клієнт – це 25% від обороту нашої компанії за 2018 рік. Справжня сила, вплив і цінність нашої програми «Ще експорт» саме в об'єднанні зусиль. Ми щиро вдячні канадському уряду, зокрема проектам Edge та Cuties, що підтримали нашу ініціативу, мою та Наталі Микольської, торгового працівника України на той час. So this program is special and I would say unique for Ukraine and for the mindset of Ukrainian people. Could you please tell us more about it? Well, uh, we started this program in 2017 because... Uh, with Natalia Mikolska, as we yes, heard from the story. Yes, it was coincided with Natalia Mikolska and myself. Uh, because since 2015, we were uh, deeply involved in uh, reforming the expert uh, trade, um, state support of the expert promotion um, office. office uh, and um, while we were doing this, we've noticed that there are a lot of women which are really active and not uh, many people know about this, about, but they don't have about a support. their results. Yes. No one really, really um, 
uh, was paying attention to particularly women in business. Uh, that's why we decided to focus on uh, women economic empowerment and first of all highlight and raise awareness about those women, about their successes and also about their challenges and needs. This is act actually very much needed in Ukraine because uh, the polls is uh, very upsetting. Um, 44 percent of women of working age are working and active uh, when this is a huge economic resource. So why is this happening in Ukraine that 44 percent of women who are working and active are not working at all? You know, there are a lot of, uh, of course, cultural uh, background to this, but I think that it's more about uh, changing the mindset, changing the culture, and showing that this is just really practical. You know, I'm a very pragmatic person, and for me, showing, uh, seeing this opportunity, I decided that we, show, we should show it to more women. In fact, uh, you were right that about 40, 44% of Ukrainian women are not economically active. That means that they could do better. And it's not only about becoming more successful professionally, uh, being able to realize themselves as, you know, personalities, but it's also a huge impact and help to the development and drive of economic growth in Ukraine and worldwide, actually, not mm -hmm. just in Ukraine. Yeah, but... Uh I was asking about, is this because they don't want to work, or is this because of the stigmatization that women cannot work as much, they cannot uh, manage something, or is this because of the stigmatization? Well, you know, I agree that there are a lot of stereotypes uh, when it comes to women in business in Ukraine, yeah, but it's not there. You mentioned the mindset, yes, because male I profession, men should work, men should finance the family. A woman should sit at home and be a housewife. So this is like the mindset we're just explaining the No, I, I think that audience. it's more about women being too modest, not to speak up about all those achievements that they've done. That's actually how we've done it. That we, while while we were talking to a lot of SMEs, small and medium businesses, who were, were uh, using export opportunities and all the opportunities of free trade agreements that the uh, government has created recently, especially the DCFTA, it's free trade agreement of European Union and Canada-Ukraine, uh, free trade agreement between Ukraine and Canada. And we've seen all these women who has been really successful, but no one knew about this, no one was paying attention to this. So while building up this uh, program, we decided to build it on three main pillars. One is information, uh, second was motivation, and the third one was action. And just at the very beginning, you know, when uh, when we started this program, we went to the big conference on women in trade to Brussels, and I personally noticed that there was women from all over the world, you know. It was not enough uh, Ukrainian business women on the international map. And it was kind of, you know, I felt even, uh, you know, it, I felt that it's some kind of injustice because the Ukrainian business women are there, they are successful, they are building up companies, they are growing their teams, and no one really knows about it. So we kind of decided that we should make more noise about this, raising awareness, not just in Ukraine, so, but also internationally. So these women can become some kind of a role models for other women to follow. So maybe women, maybe they just don't, they just would believe in themselves a little bit more because we know that according to the UN women's statistics, uh, sadly in Ukraine, uh, women, women are less represented at the managing positions and they also are being paid less, 25% less than a man who is obtaining the same position, which is like, which is showing a pure gender inequality in Ukraine. So basically this kind of initiative is a really big push, a social push in Ukraine. And uh, you mentioned the three pillars of this initiative. Could you please tell us more? So as I understand, this is some kind of a network of an active women who are trying to support each other and share experience, or do you provide them with some kind of assistance, training, and education so they can actually benefit faster? It's definitely the community of women, and we've been able to unite over 1,000 uh, women on our She Experts platform. And it's the women that are, you know, that are being united by the same values. And to my subjective opinion, they are already role models. The issue is that not enough people know about this. And yes. even when they start talking between themselves, they, they already, you know, appreciate 
also what they are own doing, not just what other women are doing. And it's a very nice platform for them to become partners. Because uh, just recent example, uh, we had a very successful women um, in business uh, educational program. And out of 20 women that participated in this program, 10 out of 20, they uh, came up with uh, ideas for mutual business. So they started partnership, business in partnership. And it's very important for them to understand that they can benefit uh, by supporting each other. So it's and not just... And rely on each other, which yes, is Yes, and great. it's also some, you know, uh, so to say, environment of trust uh, where they know that they can be heard, they can be supported, and they also can grow. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us some success story, one particular su success story out of this 1,000 about these women who are very prosperous well, in their it, businesses? It, it will be hard for me to pick one. I just uh, at the very beginning when we started this program, we... Uh, we started cooperation with uh, International Trade Center in Geneva. They have a special international uh, platform, which is called uh, She Trades, and they aim to unite 3 million uh, women globally on this uh, platform. And uh, one of the first women on this platform was uh, Daria Antonenko from uh, Iceberg, from Odessa, uh, from, from Odessa, and she's very successful, and she's really young. She's under, under her, her 30s. So this is one of the successful cases. When we took uh, women to... Uh, uh, big uh, international gathering in uh, in uh, Liverpool in 2017. Nadia Vasilieva, who used to be a top manager at uh, Microsoft, she is now a women entrepreneur. She was picked out of 1,000 women uh, as a winner to pitch her project to the international investors. This is also very successful. All these uh, partnerships that I mentioned you, that 20, 10, people out, uh, 20, 10 women out of 20 became, uh, uh, became having business together. This is very important partnerships as well. This is great. Is this initiative facing any challenges in Ukraine? Because as I understand, you would like to promote this initiative onto from the national onto the regional level. So basically in every oblast and every regional center, there would be this small network, or maybe not small, I wish it would be a big one, a broad one, network of women economic empowerment. But are there any challenges in the nowadays reality with all the stigma and mindset that we've mentioned in the beginning uh, of this program? Well, definitely there are some challenges. First of all, the first challenge when we started was the financial support, and we are really thankful to the Canadian government for supporting this program. So the and Canadian it kind government of scams, is supporting comes naturally that, uh, that the, the help came from Canada, because Canada really supports also women in business. And uh, there are some challenges uh, in uh, raising awareness, as I mentioned. During our program, we... Um, uh, uh, we had over 20 interviews with different women and they would tell their story why they are doing this and some of these are pretty impressive because some women have, uh, have businesses 20-25 uh, uh, years old some women started business in the maternity, maternity leave because for them it was an opportunity to think about something new you know and uh, of course we have to do more we would like to have a, a national platform at the moment we united women in 16 different regions but physically we are in Kiev and sometimes it's not easy for women to participate in all the events and all the activities that we do of course we try to do uh, as many as possible uh, on the uh, on, online, but still we need more, you know, help and more people to work in any in, in every region in Ukraine. Well, as I imagine, you probably inspire these women or most of these women to keep on and to prosper. Who does inspire you? Well, they do actually, because you know, for <laughs> so me, every time it's like as it's like mutually beneficial because every time I meet a new women and I understand how Im how unbelievably successful they are uh, how they develop their business some of them are in really uh, businesses that, that that are not considered traditionally women business like uh, construction you know wow. like uh, uh, very many different IT for example um, we used um, Three years ago, we brought also big uh, uh, Canada-Ukraine business forum to Toronto, and we had a special uh, we had a special uh, photo project where we wanted to highlight successful Ukrainian women in IT, because still, you know, you would think that in IT, uh, because they are globally uh, more open to international competitions, women should be 
there should be more higher percentage of women, but still it's not enough. And now, which is very important, then when you have, uh, when you are engaged in global competition, any business, especially IT business, your um, your clients could ask, what is your percentage of women involved under a particular project? So it's not just you know, it's not just some kind of um, uh, women activism. It's a necessity to grow your business internationally. Well, but you know that you are doing a great job, and this is a great personal contribution to into making Ukraine and generally equal place and also economically prosperous, economically stable and economically successful. Unfortunately, we ran out of time, but I do thank you for the introduction of this program to the world and thank you so much for being a guest today in our studio. Thank you very much for having me and thank you for highlighting women economic empowerment in Ukraine. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. That was Mariana Kahanyak co-founder of She Experts program and advisor to the Minister of Economic Development and Trade. My name is Alas Gerichuk. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more with UATV. Yeah.